Hi again, everybody. I'm Dan Hoare. The basketball season is soon to begin for the UC Bearcats, and it's a great opportunity for us to catch up with sophomore Jaron Cumberland coming off a tremendous freshman year. All-rookie team in the conference, co-sixth man of the year in the conference. But that's what the, the media and everybody said about your freshman year. How did you feel about it? I felt good about it. Uh, I think I picked up later on in the middle of the season and started playing like I should have played. And I, like, I think it's going to carry off to this year. I, I believe I can do good in my confidence and everything. I imagine like a lot of great athletes, you're your own harshest critic. So when you go back and watch tape from last year, what's that thing or a couple of things where you go, ooh, I, I need to be better at that? Yeah, uh, especially like at the beginning, watching some games is just like, I wish I was more aggressive or I, I wish I was like more like productive in the games. And I think I, can gave, I could have gave more. A lot of freshmen, when they come and start playing college basketball, they don't look like they're ready. They're too skinny. They're not strong enough for the physicality of the conference game. That wasn't the case for you. You came physically ready. So how have you tried to uh, change your physique uh, as you've spent a year in this program? Talking with Mike, uh, Mike Rayfield, he, he, done like, he, he, like, he does a great job and he helps us all. And my biggest thing was with him, he was, telling me I need to cut weight and just be more muscular. And it helped me move faster, jump higher. And I actually, I came in as 228 last year and I'm 213 now. Wow. Leaner, yeah. quicker. Uh, have you eliminated, uh, is it your uh, mom's mac and cheese that, that, that you're addicted to? Is that what I remember correctly? Yeah, the mac and cheese, <laughs> I have not ate like that. All right, we're visiting with Jaron Cumberland. There are a lot of newcomers on this year's team, but I think the guy who's likely to make the biggest impact is Kane Broom, who practiced with you last year. So you've seen a lot of him. For folks that haven't seen him in action, explain what they're going to see in Kane Broom. Uh, he's, he's an elite player. He, he pushes the ball up and down the floor. It's up and like, we're just going to be running the whole time because he's constantly, he's fast. And right when he gets the ball, he's running. He, he had definitely opened the court up for us this year. As good as you are at finishing on the break, a guy like Kane Broom is probably going to get you a lot of layups and dunks, I would think. Uh, layups, no dunks. <laughs> 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 expectations are high for this team. I've seen a lot of top 10 rankings going into the season. What are your expectations for the team? Uh, we, well, last year, we had, we had high expectations for us, but this year it's going to be win the conference make it far in the tournament, try to win the tournament, because we got a team this year that can win it. What was the NCAA tournament experience like for you? I mean, that's something that all kids that go and play big time college basketball dream about. It was, it was like, wow, like right when I stepped on the floor, like, wow, I'm not watching TV no more. Like, I'm not watching them. I'm actually like playing and I'm on the floor. It was actually crazy. Like, I liked it and the environment was crazy. Well, congratulations on a great first year. We are looking forward to bigger and better things your sophomore season, and I sure, I'm sure we are going to see them. Jaron, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. All right, that's Jaron Cumberland, and I'm Dan Hoard for GoBearCats.com.